My name is Ricardo Bracetta, New Mexico State Police Sergeant. Been on the department for about 10 years. Over the last two years, I've been in recruiting. Prior to joining the department, I was holding three jobs. Uh, I was really kind of stuck in life. I was approached by somebody that was on the department and suggested that, hey, maybe you know, maybe you want, might want to look into state police. So I did, and I haven't looked back since. It was something completely new. What I really appreciated once I got into the academy, how all that was instilled and taught to me. We walk through the application process with each individual from start to finish, going from their interest cards all the way to chief selection at the end. One of the things that we look for in individuals is the attention to detail, how well they put themselves together, are they physically fit. Both those things kind of coincide with me being on honor guard as well as going into the recruiting. That's a nice thing about state police is you have that availability of being able to go into different units. Going in, you don't need to know everything and you're not expected to. Everything that I learned in the academy, everything I know today uh, was taught to me by somebody who knew more than me. The qualities that we're looking for are honesty. Honesty is huge. I, I like to tell a lot of our applicants that we're not looking for perfect people, we're looking for honest people. Someone who's disciplined, someone who's motivated, somebody who has a no-quit mentality, who's willing to go above and beyond and doesn't fold under pressure. We want people to have discipline because we want them to see through what they started and people with that mentality will go into the academy and complete it. As far as recruiting itself, I like the being able to be interacting with the individuals. You get to know so much more about different people on how they were raised, where they come from, what kind of family dynamics that they have, and being able to try to work with certain different individuals. Being able to sit there and talk to them and then see them from going from throughout the whole process to be able to go out into the street and seeing where they are at now. I like being able to see them especially flourish on the other end. Honestly, like I remember when I was was a recruit I really was um, inspired by my own instructors and it just made me want to be one now that I'm here at the recruit school I'm able to build that recruit from day one and see them graduate till the end there's a lot of individuals that come here that this is the first time never had a military experience any law enforcement experience so coming here to a disciplined environment it's different for them right we teach them we instruct them we show them what to do what to expect our expectations and so forth reality based training uh, patrol operations, officer survival, um, a lot of hands-on visual training. Uh, so we build them up, right, from, from bottom to top, um, break them down, and then build them back up for their success. Every single person that goes through this academy at one point wants to quit. I, or maybe not just once, multiple times it has crossed their mind that they want to quit, right? And when you graduate and you know you didn't quit, it's just an amazing feeling them holding that badge in their hand and seeing it for the first time saying hey everything was worth it. When you see somebody that you've recruited come into the office with the uniform it's a big sense of accomplishment. You've seen this person from you know the very beginning the early phases when when they were just calling you to fill out an application and you explain to them hey the academy is not going to be easy it's going to be hard. We tell them that to prepare them so seeing them graduate the academy and having the uniform on carrying the badge it's, it's, it's a great feeling. We would rather graduate five fully qualified officers than 50 officers that can't do the job and stay safe at the job and have that officer safety. I tell them, would you rather know going through the process or would you rather say, hey, I should have done this 20 years from now? I just wanna remind them their why. Why are they here? No matter what, I'm going to finish. It doesn't matter if I get hurt. It doesn't matter that I want to quit. It doesn't matter that it hurts. I am going to be a New Mexico State Police Officer.